Hello, you're getting this video because you just received your first initial consultation of being on the WIO diet. Alicia here has joined us. She just started the protocol as well and she's going to help us go through the things that you need to remember and the most important things out of this the first consultation. Okay, And so uh, what you would have received is you would have received one of these weekly uh, food diaries and uh, we want you to fill it out. You made a promise to fill it out. Now this diet is different than other programs. If you'll remember, Alicia, we didn't ask you to, to count your calories, measure cups, or any of that kind of stuff, but we do ask you to keep track of your food. At first, what was your impression on keeping track? I was a little overwhelmed in the beginning because there's seven days to keep track of everything, so I was overwhelmed. But once I got it started on it, it was a piece of cake. Piece of cake. It is very easy. I've actually timed it and it takes less than a minute to fill out all four meals a day. Very, very easy. Now, did you use the paper version or did you use the online version? I liked the online version the best. It was just easy for me to get online and do it. And if you do that and you have a smartphone, you can use the mobile version and do it on your smartphone. So that's kind of cool, right? That's cool. All, the reason why we need this and why it's so important is we like to pretend that when I say we, we're talking to coach. Your coach likes to pretend that they are an CSI food investigators. You know those crime shows where the investigators get all the evidence and they can determine exactly what happened? Well, that's what your coach needs to answer some of the questions that you would have experienced during this week. Because you're going to have questions. You want answers. And we need to know the time that you ate, what you ate, how much of it in order to give you what you need. And so that's the importance of filling out the food diary. So, and as Alicia outlined, uh, it's not hard. Maybe a little overwhelming at first, but after that first day, it's a piece of cake, right? That's correct. The next thing you receive, you remember this? I do remember that. This is a nice colorful outline of what your body's going to experience the very first seven days. I recommend that you read the whole thing as you take your packet home, and then every day of the diet, you read that uh, that comment. When you read this, Alicia, what was your experience? Uh, did you find it interesting, boring? What was? What did you notice? I found it interesting and comforting to know that things that I might be experiencing that day were already down here, and I could figure out that it wasn't anything weird going on with my body. That's exactly the reason why we put it there. This is all based in clinical studies. There is nothing left to question or theory. It is uh, broke out to exactly what we want your body to go into. But there's certain things and responses your body is going to experience and we don't want you to be surprised and scared and that's why we tell you what to experience and also uh, the, the reason why it's happening. So that's why I recommend you read it all right today um, and then again every day on the day that it was. So day five you read on day five, right? That's right. Okay. That's right. The last sheet we have is called the top five. Now these are the things that we want you to remember the most during the first week and every week after. This is what will get you the success that you want to achieve. If you want to lose weight, if you want to lower your blood pressure, diabetes issues, high cholesterol, inflammation problems, whatever it is that has a meta, uh, metabolic syndrome connection, you need to follow these five top five issues. The first one being water. Drinking the amount of water uh, is required. Number two was taking your MRP protein, taking the daily recommended amount. Number three is not fasting in, in between your meals. Okay, we don't want you to starve and it's not going to accomplish your goals any faster. In fact, it'll be counterproductive. Number four is taking that oil, the oodles oil that we give you. And then five is not weighing or measuring yourself. These are all promises that you made and sometimes number five is a real toughie for people to weigh and measure. Now, are you a type of person that likes to weigh every day? No, I'm not. And too hard. Some of us do. Some ladies especially will sometimes like to weigh in. We ask you not to do that because your scale is likely not to be as accurate as ours. Okay, And it's definitely going to be different than ours. So you're going to remember the weight that you started at on our scale, but you get on your scale and you could be discouraged and we don't want you to go through that. Plus when you're stressed, cortisol is released and cortisol tells your body to stop burning fat and that's not what we want to accomplish during the protocol. 
And then down below here, it just gives you a little bit more information of why it's important to follow those five issues. So that's in your packet. We ask you to go through that and uh, become familiar with it. This first week is going to be amazing. Uh, you're gonna, your body's going to go through a change. Uh, from your first week to the weeks after, uh, what, what did you notice uh, that was different comparing with the difficulty? Was it easier after your first week is over? Uh, in other words, did it get easier? Oh yes, it gets easier. And what was it that you noticed that was the biggest change in that first seven days? The amount of water I was drinking. Water is an issue that's really important and in that first week it's going to be tough because we're asking you to take more water than what likely you've ever drank before. We're asking to take half an ounce for every pound that you weigh. So you take your weight, let's say you weigh 140 pounds, and you want to cut that in half, you want to drink 70 ounces of water a day. And a lot of you don't drink that. And so one example is you could take, this as an eight ounce glass, you could have nine and a half of these, a day, which is kind of hard to keep track of, or I see you brought your water bottle, Alicia. Yeah, this is what I drink, two of these. Two of those a day, and she gets in her daily requirement. Now, nine of these versus two of those looks a lot smaller mentally, and it's a lot easier to manage. Yes. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. I like to take mine in a big jug, that's 74 ounces when it's full, so I take this two uh, times a day, and same kind of concept, fill it up twice, and I'm set. It's going to be a little challenge on that water, but I promise you it gets easier, doesn't it? It does get easier. After that first week, your body's normal. So, you've done some awesome things in taking the first step. Alicia, congratulations on doing it. Uh, you noticed results the first week? Yes, I have. A, a change in the way that you're feeling and the numbers, I promise you, will be uh, representative every single week. So, good job. Every week we'll receive one of these lessons. And until next time, see you later.